Hi, good morning. I'm sitting here at the Delta Lounge at JFK, having some coffee, which is why I have my mask off, but my mask, it's right here. So, and also I'm like kind of in a private area where there's not really anyone around. No one wants to sit near my crazy bad hair. But I am heading to Turks and Caicos. And so I wanted to pop on here to kind of talk more about my trip. And, you know, I've been posting these things about like register for my webinar. So people are like, what the heck is this? And why would I do this? And what do I want to <laughs> see this crazy person broadcasting from the resort? But um, so I just wanted to kind of pop on and talk a little more about what it's going to be and why I'm doing it. So I'm traveling to Beaches, Turks and Caicos with... 12 other agents from the Northeast region. So it's a trip with our local sales manager. And we're gonna obviously be experiencing the resort, checking it out. We have dinner tonight at Kimono's, which I'm so excited about, because that's the hibachi. It's gonna be super fun. And just a kind of a welcome party. And then tomorrow morning, we're gonna do a full resort tour of that property. And then my webinar, so each agent is gonna do their own 30 minute broadcast that we've all been promoting which is why I say when I have the leading amount of registrations, although it looked like someone was one ahead of me, I'm a little competitive. Um, so, you know, I want to be first place, but we're going to each do our own personalized webinar. So I'll be talking to my guests and my people who I've, you know, reached out to, invited, and, and you know, really think would enjoy learning more. I'm also going to be talking about Turks and why... The travel to Turks is like and so if you're interested in Turks and Caicos maybe beaches resort isn't really your GM and you know if you're looking to travel not with the kids then oh someone's watching yay uh, you know Sandals is their sister resort which I've been to their properties a few times I love them I love booking Sandals everyone has a good time at Sandals and so, uh, you know, some of the things we'll be talking about definitely straddle both brands. So that's something if you're looking for a honeymoon getaway, anniversary trip, friends trip, something that could be of interest. So there, there really is, could be something for everyone on this webinar. Um, oh my gosh, I have so much to say. So going to Turks, definitely going to talk about this on the webinar. We've kind of, I wouldn't say scripted, but we definitely went over what we're going to be discussing. So... You know, I've been to a lot of places, places that require vaccines, testing, no testing, no vaccines. This one is, is definitely the trickiest. Um, it's definitely something to keep in mind when you are booking your travel to make sure you have someone who's going to help you with all of this. And I, I've experienced it. And this weekend was super stressful because my travel authorization was not going through. To go to Turks and Caicos, you have to have three things. You have to be vaccinated if you're 16 and up. You have to have a test three days before travel. A rapid test is fine. And you have to have an insurance policy purchase. Now, you should always have an insurance policy purchased, especially when traveling outside the country, especially during these times. But you have to. It's not an option. And it has to have a decent amount of coverage. So probably your credit card or that kind of stuff isn't going to cut it. You need to have, like, you need to be able to be medevaced out. You need to be able to quarantine for 14 days if you get stuck. So you need to have a certain level of coverage, which obviously, again, a travel professional will help you with. So then you have to get all those three things and upload them to a website, and then you have to be approved. So I got all those things, and I couldn't upload it. My computer was just glitching, and I'm on a WhatsApp chat with all the other people who are going on our trip. And they're all like, no, I got it in two minutes. I did it. It's fine. I'm like, oh. So finally, I was able to upload it on my phone. But then, a couple hours later, my application was denied. Because the urgent care had put in the notes the reason for my test was suspected contact with COVID, which was obviously not true. I was for travel. So I had to march into the urgent care on Monday morning. And they know me pretty well because I've had like 17 tests at this point. And uh, they fixed it for me and I was able to re-upload it. But it was very stressful because if you don't get all that stuff done, you don't get your little QR code, you cannot, Delta's not going to check you in. They're not going to let you go. So at least they're checking and not having you go and getting stuck somewhere where you can't enter the country. So, you know, there's, and every country has something different. We went to the Bahamas, we had to do a travel authorization, but you don't have to be vaccinated. You have to have your test, you have to have the insurance. And Jamaica has something. And then 
you know, there's countries like DR, Mexico, that don't have anything. You can just go. You need your passport, obviously, and you should have your insurance, but you need to just go. So that's for Turks. So this is definitely one of the stricter islands. And um, yeah, so when we talk about that, we'll be showing you around beaches. Actually, probably in the webinar, I'm not really going to be showing you around because I think we're going to be broadcasting from one of the four bedroom villas. So that's something I just want to talk about. Um, you know, beaches is a family friendly, luxury, all inclusive resort. There's a lot of great things to that you are included there. So that's why people love beaches and sandals. And I've been to sandals many times, and it's really true. Like you walk off the plane, you barely open your wallet. You tip your bus driver. Your transfer is included with your price. If you book a butler category, you might get a, a certain resorts have the upgraded Mercedes or BMW transfers, but you get on the resort, everything's included. All the restaurants. I mean, I guess if you want like Dom Perignon or something, you do have to pay for that. But good wine, like, you know, I know wine. It's too good because I don't end up drinking too much. And they give you bottles in your room, which is awesome. And, um, you know, Tito's and Absolute, I don't forget what kind of tequila they have, but like good stuff, not like the crappy stuff. Um, usually they have local beers and then the wine is, they have a partnership with Mondavi. So, you know, really nice wines and champagnes. I do like their Prosecco. Um, and so unless you have a butler, which I'll talk about, and unless you do a spa, there's no tipping. I tell a great story when I went to Sandals Grenada. I had someone bring me room service late at night because I wanted a little snack. I have to do the research, obviously. I went to hand the girl $2. She brought me food. It's me and her in the room. She would not take it. They have a strict no tipping policy. In fact, actually, they could get in trouble or they could just get fired for accepting a tip. So you do not have to like be shelling out dollars here or there. Because I've been to other resorts where you do spend a lot of money on tips. Um, if you are a scuba person, scuba is expensive. And if you stay to Sandals or Beaches, you can scuba every day that of your stay. I think two, two dives a day. The two one tank dives or one two tank dive. I don't scuba. Not my thing. But that's a great value if you're a scuba person. That's... And it's always right there. And their islands, their resorts are in islands where you want to scuba. Um, when I've gone to Seattle's, there's usually like a, da like a daily snorkeling trip you can sign up for. That's all included. Um, lots of activities. And right now, if you're traveling to Seattle's or Beaches in 2022, they will include some insurance for you, which is really nice. So you have your transfers, your insurance. I'm sure I'll think of a ton of other things, you know, your food, your beverage, your entertainment, your activities. Um, and some resorts for the sandals include golf. And um, yeah, so there's lots, lots included. But booking beaches vacation is a little tricky because a couple reasons. Turks and Caicos is a huge resort. There's actually five distinct villages, which I only know on paper and from what I've booked for people and for what I've sent people. So I'm so excited to experience that firsthand because my understanding is that they're all a little bit different, have their own vibe, you know, have their own pools and bars and stuff like that. So I'm really excited to get a little bit like of a personal experience of the lay of the land. Um, but beach is also a tricky vacation because it's pretty booked up for 2022. I've had a few people who, you know, I want to go all inclusive. I want to go to beaches. I've heard it's great. Well, you know there's when there's like one or two room categories left and it's not really what works for your family that's tricky so i'm definitely going to stress on this live on the webinar book for 2023 you should be thinking about 2023 we're all parents we know when the kids breaks are we know when we're going to travel and you can lock in your space it's only a 400 dollars deposit it's refundable up until 45 days prior to travel so you need to lock that in because other people are it's, it's just one of those vacations that you do need to have some advanced planning i am not personally an advanced planner so that's a little tricky although my other beaches tip and sandals is if you are looking to travel in the next 11 months or so you know sandals and beaches is one of those things that is not really a discount thing it's hard to get good deals you know once now it can go to a promo where maybe you get like a candlelight dinner or like a spa credit something like that but um, I've had a lot of sandals bookings where I, if you're flying out of an American Airlines or a Delta Vacations, a Delta Airlines city, and you're not traveling over a holiday where there might be some blackout dates, I have some really good promo codes that'll shave like two, three, three hundred and fifty dollars off your package price. 
and you're getting like really good airfare on those. So I found some good deals for people with those. I mean, you have to be traveling within the next 11 months because the airfare is just not, if you're looking at traveling for spring break 2023, the airfare is just not available right now. So you'd have to, um, you know, reserve the hotel and then we can air, add your airfare later. Now, I just went through and said how beaches, <laughs> Turks is not the easiest island to get to, but if you are interested in beaches, there are two other beaches properties. There is two in Jamaica, one in a grill, which I hear is on a fabulous beach, seven mile beach. And then the third one is in the Ochos Rios area, which is a great part of Jamaica because it puts you near all of the great excursions that everyone wants to do. And that property is a little bit smaller and tends to price out a little bit better and have a little bit more availability. So there's a couple options if you are looking for beaches. And then Sandals is a whole bunch in Jamaica. Antigua, Grenada, I've been to both of those. Uh, two in Barbados. And they're reopening the Bahamas location in January, just completely remodeled. So that's a really good option because that is the closest Sandals to the East Coast and a quick flight. And Bahamas, you do need to take a test to go, but you don't have to be vaccinated. Um, and yeah, so we are gonna be broadcasting from a four bedroom butler villa. So Beaches, Turks and Caicos, one of the cool things is they have a lot of bigger, they call them villas. I'm curious to see how separate they are and um, you know, accommodations that are standard hotel rooms, you know, two beds and a desk or something up to these four bedroom villas. So if you wanna bring you know, the grandparents, bring babysitters, there's one and two bedroom units as well. So you know, if you're a smaller family or maybe traveling with an au pair, those kind of things. Um, you know, but four bedroom villa, in, uh, the whole family can stay there. It's something you know is gonna be amazing, not some crunky thing you found on like Airbnb, which you're like, yeah, maybe this will be good, maybe it won't. And the butler level, so another thing about beaches and sandals is the butler levels and the lowest levels tend to sell out first. So the highest levels and the lowest levels. That's kind of how it goes because, um, you know, sometimes you just want to get on the resort and you're okay with having, you know, a garden view room off the beach and you want to get there and you're going to enjoy all the fabulous stuff and you're going to pay a great price and you're going to, oh, thanks Louise. Love beaches. I know. I, I have not been to a beaches yet, so I'm just so excited. Um, I hear the beach in the grill is amazing too. I, I got to get out there. I went to Jamaica last year at this time, but we stayed in the Montego Bay area, two of the sandals, which is really great. Um, what was I saying? Oh yeah, the different sizes of accommodations. So I was gonna say, you gotta bring, gotta bring the grandparents and you know get grandma and grandpa to pay for it because they get this great vacation with their kids and. You know, the, for the kids, they have the kids camp, the Sesame Street tie-in, so that, you know, they have characters, character breakfast, character tuck-ins, um, and the water parks, so you know, something for the kids. And what I'm really excited to check out is the teen stuff, because, you know, I have the tweens, the 10 and 12 year old, and they're getting to the point where they're like, a little bit harder to please. I mean, they definitely can spend time at a beach and a pool but they want to do activities, you know, they want stuff that's just for them. They don't want to do the kids camps and they're too old, too young, obviously to like do like nightclubs and stuff like that. So I'm curious what they're going to have for the teens and tweens. As that is, a, as we know, a hard age to please. And what else was I going to say about the, oh, the other thing is beaches. And this is also, I'm excited to learn more about this is an autism certified resort. So they've gone through all the training and so with special needs and I know from just anecdotally that they've done a great job with special needs families and also I know this is totally separate but special diets. I love the food at Sandals. I'm sure I'm going to love the food at Beaches. I eat vegan, sometimes you know, mostly vegan but vegetarian when I'm traveling and I eat at their steakhouses, I've eaten at their sushi, I've eaten at their hibachi. They're great. The first thing they'll do when they you sit down is ask you about special diets and they're very accommodating. I don't eat a lot. It just is what it is. They have lots of plant-based options and they have a partnership with, I don't know if it's Beyond or one of the brands. I'm curious to see when I get there to remind myself what it is. You know, they have all the plant-based options and lots of that stuff. So beaches. Oh, the last thing I wanted to say is another good reason to have a 
certified sandal specialist like myself help you with your vacation is there are so many room categories at like the smallest sandals there's like 20 room categories you can book into and like if there's like a you know a different size chair in the room they call it a different room category and then they make they make it actually a little complicated i actually have what i call my sandals bible that i got at one of my in-person trainings before the pandemic that is like this big and it has two or three pages about every single resort it has all the fact sheets it has all the selling points and then it has all the room category descriptions because it is a lot um at beaches there are like i don't even know how many room categories i'm gonna say probably like 100 or something but the way that they do the um they, they, they don't really te have like a preferred club type um option the way they do it there's three levels there's luxury which is you know um wonderful and amazing and gets you on the resort uh, the middle is called their concierge or at sandals it's called club club sandals and so that i like that level i think it's it's a good upgrade because it includes room service which i'm a huge fan of it includes the club sandals or the concierge lounge of beaches which gives you access to concierge to help you with your dining, your spa, all that type of stuff. But then there's also drinks and snacks and coffee in the morning. They do have coffee makers in the room and they have the Blue Mountain Jamaican coffee, which is nice. But um, yeah, so the room services, I like that. It's, di it's during the day, so it's like 7 a.m. to 11 p.m. It's free, it's included, it's unlimited. And you do get a little bit better you get some spirits in your room when you're in the club or concierge level. And then the last, the ultimate in luxury indulgence is butler. And I did get to have a butler at Sandals Royal Caribbean when I went last year and it was fun. They saved the seats for you and they set it up and they bring you a little cooler with waters and uh, it's divine. They make all your dinner reservations. They give you the little butler phone. I have a post about it on my blog. I should link that below. So it's just it's just like a really cool way to upgrade your vacation and you do get in your room you get some upgraded spirits and it's like tangere and i don't know i have a picture of it on my blog and then depending on your resort you might also get upgraded transfers to the mercedes bmw which is nice as well i'm trying to think what else you get with butler i mean they do everything for you they make you nice bubble baths so when you come back from dinner and i don't know how they do it but i don't know when you're coming back and somehow the bath stays hot it's like magic. It's magical. It's amazing. So I'm excited to head to beaches to show you more. Not just here, sitting at the lounge, the planes behind me. I'm having some more coffee. I might have another one of those little chia puddings. But so that's what I'm going to be doing. I'm going to be just like talking to some of the staff and you can um, register. I'll put the link below. It's free. There's no obligation. But you can just check it out. Also helps support me, supports my business. And if you do book, there's gonna be like a very small booking incentive um, to book within 14 days of the webinar. And like I said, if you're looking to travel sooner, I can probably try to find you some good package deals. If you have beaches even like remotely in your mind, like, oh, I might wanna do this. You should think about putting down that $400 deposit for spring break 2023, President's Week 2023, summer 2023. I don't know if they're booking into 2024, but like, again we're parents we know when we're traveling so we don't have a lot of choices and if you want to get the best rates and the best options and yes i know a lot of you need to get away it's been so hard i know it's like and we have the stops and starts it's, i know i i it's just uh it's great it's been crazy it's been a wild ride but i'm definitely excited to check out beaches and register for my webcast. I'm going to go have some more coffee and work on some more trips and head on my flight. So have a great day, everybody. And I'll talk to you soon. Oh, if you have any questions, leave them in the comments and I will answer them on the webinar because it's going to be totally personalized. All right. Thank you.